Hello everyone. Today is Friday, November the 20th, 2020. Today is day five of my Corona Saga experience. So, I feel better than I felt earlier this week. I don't feel good by any means, but I feel better. So, um, any improvement, you know, is, is well received at this point. This has been probably one of the strangest infections I've ever had because with most acute diseases, you have certain symptoms that are kind of hallmark symptoms. Like if you have this, then you probably have that disease. You know, if you think about stuff like pertussis or whooping cough, you have the signature cough, right? If you have strep throat, well, you have a kind of a hallmark appearance to the throat. If you have mono, you know, you think of stuff like the, the fatigue, of course, right? But this is different. This is so different. Um, for other healthcare providers, other nurses especially, you know, we see those screening forms that have what just looks like an exhaustive list of symptoms. And I understand now why those are there. You know, I've had more differing symptoms that are changing from day to day with this than I've had with any other thing I've ever, ever had. You know, I've had pneumonia in the past. I've had pertussis in the past. I was a respiratory kid. I always had all some kind of, some kind of breathing issue. Um, but I'm doing this weird thing where I'll lose a symptom and then gain something else. And it's changing from day to day from morning to evening sometimes. Um, for instance, last night I felt like my fever had broken. Took my temperature and I was sub 99. Super. With the fever goes the chills. So no fever, no chills. Outstanding. This morning I took my temperature and I'm back up to 99.9. .9. Well, I'm not in chill territory yet. But it's climbing. So, you know, again, just riding the wave and, and staying on the fever, reducing medications, in my case, acetaminophen. Um, headache is still there. I don't think that's going to go away anytime soon. Body aches are still there. I'm not nauseated anymore. That was sort of fleeting. I haven't vomited anymore. But I did have diarrhea yesterday. Who knows? My throat is still sore. This cough is ridiculous. When I cough, it's I can feel the congestion creeping down, um, at, you know, into my chest, and that's concerning. Um, but at the same time, the congestion in my nose is better. You know, the fluticasone is keeping that from getting out of hand, so much so that I was able to sleep flat last night and probably got the best sleep that I've gotten all week. So, you know, like I said, things are coming and they're going. Um, my weight has stabilized. I'm not losing uh, any weight from yesterday to today. Now, um, I was 265 yesterday, I was 266 today, and while I didn't eat very much, I did have a can of chicken noodle soup, and I anticipate that pound could be anything from, you know, water weight from the sodium in the, in the chicken broth, which is likely, or, you know, less likely since I did have diarrhea yesterday it could be stool you know uh, a pound is is not that much so 
you know, we'll keep an eye on it. And I don't feel like it's any major concern. But uh, it is something to, to consider. I'm happy to report that I did wake up and was actually hungry today. Uh, now, I didn't eat a whole lot. I had about 10 grapes and about 2 tablespoons of peanut butter and that was breakfast. But, you know, trying to make the most of the appetite that I've got while I've got it. Um, I don't know. You know, just keep keep on keeping on and managing my symptoms and I hope that anybody who is watching this can um, take some comfort knowing that you know it's not a necessarily a death sentence like I said I've, I don't feel great but I feel better um, I don't have all my energy back but I've got more than I had yesterday you know Perfection is not really the goal, more so just progress, you know. Um, I am grateful to anybody who has watched these videos and has, you know, sent prayers and thoughts to my family and to me and, you know, well-wishers hoping for a speedy recovery it means a lot and it's it's helping more than you probably realize so uh, thanks again for taking the time out of your busy days to watch this and until next time